This is Meteorologist Justin Gibbs, the National Weather Service in Brownsville, Texas, serving the Rio Grande Valley with our second in a series of severe weather awareness videos. This one is on the warning. What is the warning? It means something dangerous is happening right now. It means we're not watching for anything anymore. Watch means that you've got a little bit of time. Warning means we've found it and we're warning you that it's coming right now. So you say, well, how much time do I have? How much time on average passes from when a warning is issued until severe weather is reported? Is it an hour? Is it 10 minutes? Is it two hours? It's 13 minutes from the time we issue that warning until the wind is blowing, the hail is falling, and bad things are happening. And since it's on average, that means sometimes it's a little less, and then sometimes it's a little more. But what you have to do is take cover immediately. One of the things you can do is get into what we call the brace position. As the storm is approaching, you can cover your head with your hands. This is especially useful if the wind is going to be especially strong, uh, like if there's a tornado on the way. You can cover yourself with pillows or blankets, and uh, you can also uh, put on a bicycle helmet or any type of helmet to protect your head, especially if the wind's going to be very strong. Normally, though, if it's just a normal severe thunderstorm, 60 or 70 mile per hour winds, just stay away from windows and move to an interior room, and you're going to be just fine. And then you remain in shelter until that danger passes. What's a warning look like? It may look something like this. The little yellow area is the area drawn up by the National Weather Service meteorologist to tell you that you're in danger. Threats would be, in this case, maybe 70 mile per hour wind and baseball size hail. The robot voice on the radio will read this, and this is also available on our website. This is the actual warning. It may look kind of confusing. Lots of different pieces to it. Here's an idea of what, though, to pay attention to in the warning. This top part is nothing to worry about. That's all computer code and designed to be fed into to, uh, machines, nothing to be uh, concerned about. This top part is just the header, so folks that pick it up can look at it and see what it is immediately. That timestamp is the most important uh, part of that warning. If it's more than about an hour old, it's probably uh, completely useless because information changes so fast. This part is very important. This is what we've issued, a severe thunderstorm, a tornado, or a flash flood warning uh, for the area that we've issued it for and until when the warning expires. This is the this right here is the most important part of the entire warning. This is the basis statement. This is what we've seen and what we expect uh, and where it's at, what direction it's moving. All of the very important information is right here. Uh, and then this is where is the storm headed to next. This will usually list a series of towns uh, like Rio Grande City or Santa Canarita. Or Highway 83, areas where the storm is headed next, and that's so obviously you can take cover if you're anywhere close to those towns, that means you're in the path of this storm. This is what we call our call to action. This is what we want you to do and recommend that you do in order to protect yourself. It gives you an idea of what this storm is capable of doing and then what the best action is. In this case, move indoors and, uh, and don't be out driving. Uh, this bottom part of the warning is uh, just asking for us to call. Uh, asking you to call us with any severe weather reports that you may have uh, because that helps us issue better warnings downstream. And then this is more computer code, nothing to be worried about. And then the last part, that's just the initials of the person that issued the warning, nothing to be confused about there. We do that so we can keep up with it in-house, but it does sometimes go out. You say, well, this warning looks exactly the same. What's different? Well, this storm is capable of producing baseball-sized hail, so very important information in this warning. This storm is capable of producing very large hail that could cause serious injury which is more serious than what we had in the previous call to action statement. So these areas of these warnings give you very important information, which is why it's important to look at the warning when, uh, and read the entire warning when you receive it instead of just go, oh, they said it's going to hail. We can tell you how big the hail is going to be uh, and when it may arrive and what towns are going to be affected uh, rather than just telling you that there's hail somewhere around. Uh, we can also update those statements uh, after we issue an initial warning, it looks a little bit different, but it carries that same information. Where is the storm? How bad is it? And where is it headed? All of that will be available uh, on our website and over NOAA Weather Radio. It will scroll on television, and you can get that information uh, anytime that you want when dangerous weather threatens. If you have any questions, we're on Facebook, U.S. National Weather Service, Brownsville, Texas. Twitter at NWS Brownsville. Weather.gov slash RGB is our website. You can call the office at 956-504-1432.